Okay, so this video is all about using the WebP format from Google with the U Image Optimizer for WordPress. Unlike the other conversion options, WebP conversion is possible for every single PNG or JPEG image on your entire site, uh, whether it's in the media library or not. So a little bit about the conversion process. Uh, converting JPEGs to WebP does involve a little bit of a quality loss, uh, but not much, and the PNG to WebP is completely lossless. The WebP format has both a lossy and a lossless mode, so that's how that is possible. So with PNGs, you don't have to worry about losing any quality. JPEGs, just a little bit. The WebP conversion does not replace your images or remove them or anything like that. Rather, it makes a copy of the original image with the exact same name, but in the WebP format and with a WebP extension added onto the end. It's important to know that only the Chrome and Opera browsers and Android devices currently support WebP. So determining how to serve those images is a little bit up to you, but we do have a couple options available in the plugin. For folks using Apache or Lightspeed with mod headers and mod rewrite, the plugin can attempt to modify your rewrite rules to only send WebP images to supported browsers. So let's enable WebP and see how that works. After we've saved our settings for WebP, we'll see a new section at the bottom of the settings page. It includes the rewrite rules for Apache, a button to insert those rules into your HT Access uh, file automatically, and a red ping image showing us that either the server is not sending WebP images or our browser doesn't support them. We're using Chrome, so in this case it's because the server isn't sending them, and that's because we don't have the rules in our HT Access file yet. So let's go ahead and insert the rules, and we'll get a success message here if it works, and it does. Now normally, I will attempt to reload the test image as well, and this would turn to a green WebP image. My site is a little bit special, and so I'm going to show you one of the cases where that is not the case, where the default rules don't work quite right. So my site is a subdirectory install, which means instead of being at the root of my domain, like example.com, it's at example.com slash WordPress, but the site is still accessible from example.com. The files are just installed in a subdirectory. So that's a subdirectory install and the rules don't quite work because they're inserted in the HT access file at the root of the site and they need to be moved into the HT access file inside of the WordPress folder. So let's show you what that looks like. So in this is the one at the root of my site and here we can see the UIO rules. And if we take these and copy them, we can put them in the WordPress folder here in that HT access file and paste them. And then we reload this page, we get a lovely green WebP image that tells us everything is now working. When you're using a native Apache or Nginx rewrite solution like this, you won't see the image URLs in your page change. The rewriting happens when your browser actually requests that particular image URL. So let's see if we can show you what that would look like. Now here's an example image and if we right click on it and inspect it with Chrome, it's going to show us the same JPEG URL. And if we go to the network tab and reload, that's going to show us uh, all the resources that are being loaded. But I want to show you something real quick first. Here's what it looks like before we activated the HT access rules. 
and here's the JPEG file, and it tells us the type is JPEG. So let's refresh and see what happens. So here's that same file, and now we see that the type is WebP. It's got the same name because of the way that the rewrite rules work, but it now is serving the WebP file in place of the JPEG file but of course only in supported browsers. That's very important. So one other case where it doesn't always uh, work right out of the box is if you're running a multi-site WordPress install. And in those cases, you might have to put the rules um, above the standard WordPress rules. So here's kind of what that would look like. Um, here's the, the EU rules again. So we're gonna take those and cut them and we're going to give ourselves some space up here and then we're going to put them in front of the WordPress rules. So that generally is all you have to do on a, a multi-site install to make things work. And then WebP should work on your multi-site install. If the rewrite rules aren't working, you can also try the alternative uh, WebP rewriting, which is over here on the conversion tab right next to the other WebP setting. And it uses uh, some page parsing with the libxml uh, functions on the back end to parse through your page and look for images. And then on the front end, it uses JavaScript to swap in the appropriate image depending on your browser. <clears throat> so we'll also show you what that looks like real briefly. So now if we reload and inspect that element again, we're going to get something a little bit different. We get a no script tag that or element with all of these attributes, one being for the JPEG, one being for the WebP image, and then all the other attributes that were on the image. And inside of that is our fallback in case they don't have JavaScript for the original uh, image. Oh, sorry, inside of that, right there. Um, and then when the JavaScript runs, here we can see that it has substituted the WebP image for the JPEG, and it's pulled that information from this right here. So that's how that works. Now, none of these rewriting solutions are going to work if you do not have local copies of your images. Because the plugin will only create WebP images if they are smaller than the other format, any rewriting solution has to check to see if a WebP image actually exists. And that just isn't possible if the only copy of an image is on a remote server. So keep that in mind if you want to uh, do anything with WebP, you got to have local copies of the images. Um, if you're using Nginx, there's been a few forum posts on how to do that. Uh, there was just one earlier today that gave uh, an example of the rules for Nginx and you can find those online or in our forums in several spots. Um, and if you can't find them, just ask uh, via the support forums. The plugin support link is right here at the top of the settings page and that will uh, let us know that you need help and we'll help you out. Happy optimizing!